Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. Okay, so there is a lot of females in here, so it's not gender specific. Just keep that in mind. Just if you're male, <laughs> sorry, but um, I got descriptions here. So we'll see how this person is viewing you right now. It doesn't matter who it is. I, you know, just take the message, what resonates or how it resonates. Okay, so let's get started. We have the green heart, the white heart, purple heart, and yellow. Also, if it doesn't resonate, feel free to choose another pile. The only reason it doesn't resonate is because somebody else's energy must be, might be, you know, stronger than yours, or there's more people that it'll resonate to um, than yours. You know what I mean? So you really use your intuition when you're choosing. Okay, so let's get started with the green. Okay, sorry guys, I needed to grab my water. I always forget it before I start. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we have here, okay? Looks like you got a, a spiritual message already here. Mm. Wow, okay. So, I'm getting, wow, the full good fortune. I'm going to start here. So, this person is seeing you as somebody that is actually... Uh, moving away you know starting new okay like they see you maybe coming into some blessings some money you're independent you're taking care of you your mind body and soul here with the fool like you're actually moving forward and isn't scared like you are just whatever happens happens like you're being more of a I'm just going to run. I'm just going to go. Because I feel like this person is running. <laughs> and both of these are going one way. You know what I mean? So it kind of seems like you are just leaving. Like saying, you know what? I got to leave. And I don't know if this person I'm getting. That this person is either picturing you. Or um, they're imagining you leaving this way. Or like you're maybe... Uh, maybe they're seeing you on social media for some of you, okay? But I'm getting this thing, what's being highlighted, which is very strange to me, is their um, foot here. This kind of, to me, it kind of seems like you are showing off. Like, you know how when you pose, you go like this. You either pose with your feet. You know how women do it, you know? <laughs> You pose with your hand like this or your feet when you're posing, you know, on something. Um, it kind of seems like that. Like, look at me. I'm I'm doing awesome kind of thing. I feel like this person is seeing you this way or they're just picturing this. Wow. Look at this. So this person, I feel like they see that you have hold all the cards here. I don't know if you're the one that cut them off or anything, but kind of seems like this person sees you as changing and they're actually surprised. This person's stalking you for most of you here. Um, yeah, and you probably know this. I don't know why. <laughs> or you're probably a mystic yourself, but I do see that you have, you've made a choice here and they're actually... I feel like some of them are actually surprised that you made this choice to move forward. Like to, you made a choice to leave, to change. I feel like this person sees you changed. You're not the same. You've gone through some kind of transformation and you've ended something. This person is also seeing you as somebody very supportive, very encouraging. You know, and you encourage those around you, very loved. You have your friends, your family. They see love. Um... Like you're always there, no matter what, you know, you're probably always there for them as well. So we have astrological transits favor you at this time. So right now I feel like there is some kind of energy that you've been going through that you needed to go through and spirit is saying that you're doing great. Okay. So what I have with the Saturn here, you have grown, you've learned how to have more self-control. You've gone through some tests and you've, you've actually, um, followed through. You've passed these tests. 
I feel like you're showing discipline, maturity, and this is how they're seeing you. You actually have self-control. You've put limits on this as well. Like you're not going beyond this limit anymore. You're starting new. Interesting. I feel like that's a collective energy right now. We're all going through the new stages of something and the world is too. So let's see. We have the lover here. So the lover brings a message. Well, for me, it brings a message of grace. Maybe you are look you're you're being seen this way like you are just you know, you're very they do think I feel like this person thinks about how devoted you were how you were all about love and how that changed like this person i'm feeling that this person is seeing you to someone that has fully detached you know and wrote you you rose above the up apocalypse here because this is the only dark energy i see here uh, well, Saturn could be dark, you know, because it makes you go through lessons. But with the with the apocalypses, it does bring the message of, you know, removing the veil of deception. Maybe you've gone through some deception with this person and they have been thinking about that as well. They do v view you as somebody that has actually, you know, l lifted the veil, is being true to yourself and just working on you on your money on your own stability your independence and gracefully they see you in a very good light you see this the sun rays they see you in a very good light wow i feel like this person is actually they actually saw what they've done to you as well okay and they're even thinking about that too they see they saw a different version of you for some of you but now they are seeing this whole different person like it was a black and white it's a black and white moment that's how they're viewing you like you've gone through this interesting okay what was your um what's what was your story here with this person what was green heart story with this person spirit lines We'll see if this does resonate, then this is your person viewing you this way, okay? Yeah, there was dishonesty. It was a veil of deceit. There was a lot of, you know, I feel like both of you were on different pages here. There was a lot of dishonesty. This person only used you or thought that the intimacy was more important than to have a real relationship i feel like you were seeing this as you know making future plans um you kind of how do i say you were looking for something a lot more stable more traditional and they actually ruined it with their dishonesty and i say that there was them because i feel like there was like you've lifted the veil of deception here so that's how they're seeing you so that's why i'm relating it to to them being this deception deceptive one let's see give me more of this future yeah i feel like now they are seeing you're actually thinking about the future and right now too you're working towards your own future your own stability your own security i feel like for some of you there is some money coming in if you've been working on a project working on something or just working investing your time in something um a big promotion could be coming in something very very good for you mm -hmm. a blessing from i feel like it's saturn's blessing here you've learned it now you're working on yourself and on something that you probably um you you probably investing your time and energy in so judgment interesting because we have um judgment here it says uh futura future choice judgment so this dishonesty this veil that you you took off your eyes you um kind of forced you to make a decision here a final decision 
Give me more of this dishonesty. Yep. And you overcame the struggle here. I feel like now you are more um, independent. You're getting over something. You're getting over... This was very, very difficult for you to... This decision was difficult for you. Because there was this really, really strong connection between you two. But it, I feel like for most of you, this is the only way that you kind of connected with this person, though. And that's what kind of kept you with them because you shared energy let's see give me more of this sexual desire wow well that one wanted to pop out i feel like this person still wants to come up back around see sexual desire with the ace of wands and the devil this person had you going in and out also through cycles in and out maybe even sometimes you would detach but then you thought you were good and then they would come back and will you back in so it was like you both were attached to one another mm -hmm. now i do sense that you have actually left this um, for some of you you're still probably thinking about this i'm not gonna lie and this person is it could be them too but this person could be thinking about a way of coming back in and reaching out and starting all over. Give me more on this Two of Pentacles. Yeah. This person, I feel like you're kind of set on this and you're trying to just look forward. They are actually probably still waiting to see if maybe you'll come back around or they're strategizing of how to come back towards you. So for some of you, they're strategizing. For others of you, they are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you are just keeping your balance here. I feel like this is you. And this person is actually stuck on you. They feel more attracted to you too. Like they want to come towards you. Because they see that you've made a final decision here. I feel like this person still wants your 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 attention. Okay. For some of you of course. But there was dishonesty there. So that's really up to you. Um, but I feel like with Saturn here. I really feel that you've learned your lesson. And you're. You're going towards something a lot more better for you. And you know this. You, you've you learned the hard way. Let's see what Spirit um, wants to let you know. Okay. What does Spirit want this group to know? Spirit? Give me a message for this pile. Ooh, that came out fast. Your soul invites you to try out something new. If you love somebody, ask him or her for a date. He or she will say yes. Singles will dream about their soulmate and meet him or her very soon in real life. See, I told you, for some of you, you're going towards a new soulmate. A dream soulmate here, okay? So that is what I have. For others of you, you might be asking someone new, but I really feel like you are running towards something new, okay? So, that is what I have for most of you, actually. You know, that's what I have for this pile. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Ooh, I forgot to say signs. I have earth signs, fire signs, Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, earth, um, air. What else? I have Aries, Pisces. Gemini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I have here. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I have Scorpio too. Water. Yeah. Okay, let's move forward. Let's see. The White Heart. Let's see what we have for the White Heart. Whoops. Okay. Let me fix I feel like I'm too close to my microphone. Um, sixth house, seventh house. Ooh. How is this person viewing you? So, 
you are everything <laughs> that's what i'm getting here with okay it's not gender specific if you skip my intro i already said what well, it's not gender specific there's a lot of women here so just take what <laughs> how it resonates we have i am enough this person i don't know why i stopped at this one but this person sees you as a mother daughter sister lover you're everything you are enough you are um this person sees you as you know being there for everybody or being that one person for everyone you know like probably also gaining your power back and i use different decks just to get maybe the i'm getting good readings but i use different decks to get the also the negative if there is any so let's see she who calms stillness purity quiet so they are viewing you as somebody that is very aware of themselves probably going through some healing um interesting how this came out with the white heart so they see you as someone very pure very um how do i say very innocent very loving always there your sweetheart i'm getting um uh, very calm I feel like when this person thinks about you, they think of how calm you were, how you listened to their problems, how you were always there. You were very compassionate, very understanding. Um, you didn't really just listen to them, but you gave them advice. You were encouraging. You were an advisor. You were supporting. You were just always there. And now they hear nothing from you. I'm feeling this, these two cards give me silence. Mm -hmm. We have Peacock Priestess, Priestess and then Sixth House. So they see you as a hard worker, having good working habits, maybe into fitness, maybe you have a dog, maybe you have a daily routine and they're seeing how active you are, um, very healthy. A new diet you're probably doing all these things and you're probably posting them or something but this person if they if you're not doing any of those and you're probably just a very hard worker that's what they like about you that you listen to details you are very organized you are very skillful wow this person does see you very uh really good with the seventh house wow they see you look at that diamond in the middle of course seventh house is your relationships uh, marriage equality business partner a true love justice friendship rivals enemies contracts they see you as their lover they see you as a someone that they can still have a marriage with a relationship with they see you in the future okay um i see gemini libra here too but I feel like this person really sees you as their true love. Because we have true love there. Yeah, look at that. Blessed love life, happiness. They're viewing you as somebody that is very courageous. Um, your status, you've elevated yourself. I feel like you've also, you're very, very clear with your words. I did see Gemini here, um, Libra. But you're very, um, we have the Ace of Swords here. So you victorious here, a blessed l life. It could be a blessed love life, but I feel because you're very loving, they can also be seeing you as being very happy, okay? They could also be with a blessed love life. Maybe they think that you're already with someone else, someone new, um, like you've leveled up. You've cut whatever doesn't serve you. So maybe you've cut them off too. For some of you. Because I'm also seeing a wand here. The thread. Like there's a big old red. Coming out of the darkness. Okay. So we have the bread. The bread. <laughs> the thread. Sorry. The thread here. Um, which is. I feel like someone here is coming out of the darkness with a wand saying, I am, I am ready, you know, I've won. I'm getting out of the darkness. I'm going towards this rainbow here. It's interesting because we have this. 
um, but the thread does bring the message of you know um, how do I say it? <clears throat> I feel like I feel like it's it brings a message of coming out of the darkness like you're leveling up uh, but of course what this card does bring is um, this person thinks about you like a lot of uh, memories come there is still a thread meaning they still feel that connection with you okay I uh, feel like right now there is this darkness that kind of surrounds the connection but they still feel that connection with you and it kind of seems like the happiness was lost the happiness was lost and I feel like this person thinks about all the good memories but they are they've kind of got lost in whatever you both have gone through this ending yeah I feel like because I feel with the bridge here they actually want to communicate with you mm -hmm. they want to build this bridge you know they want to bridge the gap that they feel with you but they still feel that connection you see those two hands there they feel that link that connection and this person wants to heal the connection and communicate mm -hmm. because they still see you as somebody that wants to be your partner mm -hmm. so let's see what was your situation here with this person sorry I had a pause because I was losing my messages um, with that one I have to find my words sometimes <laughs> let's see what was the situation here now if this situation resonates then you know that this person is seeing you this way mm. okay so fantasy Faithfulness, consistency. So I'm getting somebody here is fantasizing about this. Um, fantasizing about you, <laughs> or it could be you fantasizing about this. But let's see, what is this fantasy? What's the what's this fantasy here? Yep, it's them. They're fantasizing about you. Or it could be you too, the Emperor. Um, but I feel like it is them. They're actually fantasizing about how to come towards you and apologize. Sen um, maybe send you a, a message, um, something, a nice gesture. But I'm getting an apology. Yep, they want to bridge the gap. Give me more of this faithfulness. There's something here about dogs. Okay. Ugh, okay. Somebody here is, has, oh, has blocked this. I feel like there was a lot of wounds. There was a lot, like I said, this thread. There is a lot of stuff that went, that you both went through. And it actually kind of feels like it was you and they saw that they put you through a lot. This person saw that they put you through a lot. And I feel like they hurt themselves too. I feel like this person hurt themselves too. For some of you, this person actually listened to their friends, their family, or they cared about what others thought as well. But somebody here... I feel the one that was faithful, which I feel like it was you. Yeah, it had to be you. 
you've closed the door here because they they really did hurt you give me more of this consistency in this connection wow this person i told you <laughs> as i told you this person has learned their lesson. I feel like they want to come back around. They want to feel successful here. They want to come and offer you a new love. Because they see you as the one here. Seventh house. The one. Like maybe you've lost. You've, they've learned their lesson about being consistent. Maybe they weren't consistent. Maybe there wasn't faithfulness. But this person, we have three indications here that they want to come and reunite. We have what the bridge, the link, the connection. You see how even through the dark, they still have this link to you and they think about the good memories. The seventh house here. Um, yeah. And then the reconnecting, offering you a new beginning in love and being consistent. Like it, this person has actually... I feel like they, they have seen that what they've done, you know, they want their words to match their actions. They want to be there consistent. This person wants to come back around. Okay. I do see that. Let's see what spirit says. Okay. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. I don't know why I want to see. Look at that. Oh my God. I don't know why for this pile. Last pile, I didn't do it, but. Look at that. The connection. It could be that someone here has disconnected and it could be you because you have their, they are seeing you as, you know, the ace of swords. You've cut off something. There's silence here that I felt. So it's like maybe you disconnected, but they still feel this. They still feel this link, this thread with you. They see you as the rainbow. You see the rainbows? There's two rainbow, three rainbows here, though. Um, rainbow here. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay, what does spirit say here? Okay. You can expect a financial upturn, a promotion, profits, and other earnings money that you are waiting for will be paid out soon currently you are very powerful and you work so hard to manifest your desires finally the time of frustration and losses is over so you may be very hopeful something here is coming towards you okay it could be this ace of cups that somebody is going to offer you an apology um but with this the world you've gone through something very difficult it could be also travel of course somebody's gonna tell me tarot police but what i'm getting with this is that you've gone through something so harsh you know losses whatever that you're actually gonna be promoted you're gonna be blessed there is something here coming towards you the losses is stop being frustrated because you know, it could be either in financial gains or love. New beginning in love. Okay. So that's what I'm getting here. I do see Taurus, Scorpio, um, Aries. Could be fire signs, water signs, Pisces, earth signs. It could be a, you could be a Taurus, um, Leo, sorry, Aquarius, Scorpio. Sorry. And water. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my words today. Anyways, that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Purple. Okay, let's do purple. Let's see what we have here. Mars? Well, that's a strange card to start with. Eighth house, something's dead or something died. Um, something ended, of course. Starborn. Even the sun doesn't know it's a star. 
Aww. So they see you as their wish fulfillment or they see you as their star. Interesting. You could be, of course, in the spotlight somewhere. But what is going on here? Because I see a lot of Mars energy. Look at that. Both of them are holding, one's holding a sword and another a knife with blood on it. <sighs> okay, so they see you as someone very fierce, fearless. Um, justice, we have justice. She who battles, she who resists. I feel like they're seeing you as somebody that you cannot mess with. <laughs> You're harsh with your words at times. Um, you feel justified for whatever has happened. And you probably said something, did something. There was probably drama. I don't know. There is something here that they they are viewing you as somebody that is not afraid to use um, their words. Or is not afraid to speak up on what they believe in or what they feel. Um, interesting because we have Mars here which Mars is anger competition a fighter a leader um, impatient could be war which we have war here she who battles eighth house endings new beginnings um, the occult you could be into the occult and that's why I don't know they're seeing you as like a mystic maybe I'm getting a yeah, see the moon too. I'm getting this mystic vibe. See the crow? Well, it says the crone. Ooh, and the medallion. The medallion brings a message of, you know, your their lucky charm. They see you as your someone very valuable. Wow, this person sees your value. And I see it here. Look at there's a I don't know if that's a medallion, a coin, or a pentacle. I don't, I'm not sure, but I am getting the same vibe here. Um, I feel like this person also has seen a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities, or just something that reminds them of you too. There's been a uh, release. You've, they are seeing you as releasing the past, as changing here. Hmm and yearning desire so they are seeing you as somebody that is very nurturing very um caring and i feel like this person actually is seeing you as very desirable like they're desiring you wow i'm also sensing some kind of stubbornness here i don't know why <laughs> i don't know anyway so with the medallion, of course, it's like an amulet, a talisman. talisman. Um, but it's something very valuable, something that brings protection or tradition. You know, a lot of tradition cultures have traditional medallions, you know, traditional little um, pieces like uh, amulets, you know. So they are seeing you maybe very traditional. But I'm getting, I'm sensing more of value. Like they see you as someone very valuable to their life. Or maybe they're seeing you as a new beginning and they want to reach out because the hand here is reaching out. Like they want to grab you, but they can't. I feel because you are really seeing the, this. There's probably, you both did not end well. Maybe it was something very unexpected. Something that you could not, um, you know, you couldn't. It, it there is no way to dodge this ending you know it just had to end it could have just ended because of the energy that was felt because i'm I, i'm feeling a lot of heavy energy here okay with the crown of course um oh that's why because it's a like a witchy vibe with the crown here um, it does bring them the message of a witch, the sage. That's why I was feeling mystic here for some reason. Well, of course, um, it, you don't have to be. Not everybody's a mystic. But it does bring the message of magic, intuitive, very wise, a psychic. Um, but it also, like I was saying here, this this is you they're seeing you as somebody that does not hold back with their 
what they have to say it doesn't even like even if it's um un like something that you've never spoke about or you were thinking and you know you were holding it back until it, you know everything blew out and you said well you did this and I did that you know or because you didn't say it before you're saying it now or you've said something I don't know why I'm getting that okay like maybe the energy got so harsh that you really wanted to hurt them with their words so you said something that's for some of you okay not all of you that's what I'm feeling with this because it's it's um Yeah, somebody very unapologetic. That's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Very unapologetic. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting there. Okay. Let's get more on your situation and see if if this situation resonates and this is your person. This is how they're viewing you right now. You're probably going through a transformation as well um, and releasing the past and going through some change because we have eighth house and change here so what was the situation here spirit lines for this pile what was the situation yep frustration a lot of frustration selfishness and it was like love at first sight so this probably went really really fast like between you two it was a very strong initial connection attraction instant feelings of love intense um it was an intense connection i can see that with all the red here the red cards very intense there was a lot of frustration here because maybe they you both weren't on the same page somebody's needs were met more than yours um let's see what's this person's why is frustration here for this pile of spirit lines oh. why is frustration here for this pile of spirit lines they just interesting i have that same combination for i think the first pile first yeah i don't know but anyways this is a page of pentacles so i feel like this person they kept you in a state where they always i don't want to say they dangled the relationship on you or not like that but it was more of thinking that this could go long term but they were very selfish with their energy they just took from you they kept taking from you um they would always come back for more they're like it says their needs come first so there was a lot of frustration about that yep a lot of selfishness a lot of holding back a lot of intimacy between you two um yeah a lot of intimacy so i feel like the more that this person kept you out the more you felt bound to this person or they this is how they kind of got you is by you know um keeping you there you both had a lot of intimacy intimate nights you know what i mean <laughs> But this person never was very selfish with their time, their energy. They didn't want to give you enough. Only the their needs came before yours. Okay. Bottom line. It could have turned very toxic between you two. Okay. How does this person see you at first sight? Let's see. What is the situation here? Sorry. Yeah, it started out really good until somebody just started overthinking things, I feel. This started out really good. Um, you both were enjoying the connection, but then somebody here just wanted to 
explore and go out there like it kind of seems like they changed their mind here like it started well and then it it was like they were kind of flaky with you like they wanted to be out there exploring um still you know having their options open they wouldn't meet you halfway, which we have at the bottom of the deck which is a challenge here they wouldn't meet you halfway. this person was selfish with their energy <sighs> mm -hmm. for some of you you caught on to it and you stopped it okay you said what you needed to say okay what does spirit say give me a message for the purple heart spirits so we have brianna change your mind you are much more beautiful and worthy than you might think you look at yourself in the wrong way raise your self-worth and the external effect will be financial abundant could be financial it could be anything here okay um in love but i feel like some of you still need to heal from this it kind of seems like you need to embody you know that fierce energy that fearless um they do see you as somebody very committed though so i feel like some of you st <laughs> spirit is telling you to change your mind you're probably still wanting to give this a try okay but it's really up to you just raise your self-worth that's very strong message for someone and but they do see your worth it just seems like you need to see your worth um but some of you are seeing yourself in the wrong way okay so that is what i'm getting with that i do see fire i see air earth uh virgo gemini air capricorn earth yep and sagittarius Okay, so that is what I have for this. I do see Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here. I see air signs. Mm, um, Scorpio again. I see Aries, Taurus. Yeah, a lot of Scorpio. And that's what I have. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back later. Let's keep going. Okay. Yellow heart. Let's see what, how this person is viewing you. Ooh, the, some of you are mystics. Clairvoyant. Um, or beauty gurus. I don't know why I'm getting beauty gurus. <laughs> Ooh, the shadow and the threshold. Interesting okay so i'm getting on your on your own terms let's see she waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself it was a very good day so i feel like you are on your own terms wow this person does see you like enjoying your out uh your life your outcome we have enjoying your outcome maybe you are great just living your best life right now with a nine of cups interesting this person does see you as somebody that is living their best life happy um maybe you're getting your wish fulfillment some of you are i'm getting birthday i don't know why uh <laughs> that's funny that's weird well it's not weird some of you probably your birthday is coming up and they're probably thinking this way of you that you're gonna just be living your best life on your birthday they are seeing you come out of a dark space or just you know um setting your standards high mm -hmm. you're saving yourself um, it's not gender specific okay if you missed the intro um a lot of women are in these cards but it's not gender specific they are seeing you as you know i feel like you've put some limitations here you've gone through some change oh yeah um physically 
your identity has changed your body your ego you probably they probably see this ego in you but i do sense that maybe you've gone through some transformation you are very enchanting to them <laughs> you've gone through an awakening but i feel like you are more you're focused on your outer beauty for some of you or this is what they're focused on because you are living your best life and they're seeing like the really good side of you and maybe you are in your own power we have she who instigates leadership provocation power so you might be in your power here we have a snake too so that could also symbolize change um leadership you are really tra taking charge with the shadow here though it's um you're ascending you've gone through some shadow work so you have gone through the transformation here that has changed you i feel like this person this also could be also that they are seeing how they kind of feel unwelcomed by you yeah but most of all it's i feel like you are coming out of a dark side i don't know why i feel like you are ascending you are you're going from dark to this fiery energy this light this sun um you've gone through the dark the shadow side and you're you're finding your power here we have fixed moon which is finding staying in power um Ooh, you could be stubborn they could be seeing you as very strong willed um the power of concentration maybe you're concentrating on yourself taking leadership um but they're seeing you as you know standing firm mm -hmm. wow okay so let's see What was your situation here? Because this is kind of like very straightforward messages. Um, yeah, this is how they're seeing you. Let's see what your situation was here. So I already see Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo earth signs water signs mm. scorpio i already said that okay let's see what is your situation here i do sense a little bit of stubbornness so ooh, delusion what was the situation here Ooh, they kept you stuck for a long time there might have been some trust issues between you two um you ooh, there was a lot of recurring um situations somebody was not learning their lesson so they had to go through a whole new cycle it, it could have been a couple cycles with this person it involved trust maybe trust issues but we'll look more into it somebody here was probably trusting you know that this was going to come out good but let's see what is this delusional delusion maybe they're still seeing you this way too for some of you i don't know why i'm getting that let's see give me more of this delusion yeah it's like ooh, delusion indeed with the moon here page of swords seven of wands I just noticed that I haven't been saying the tarot cards. But anyways, delusion. Thinking love exists when it really doesn't. There is probably immature communication. Probably somebody still stalking or just couldn't let go of this. There was a lot of struggle here. Um, somebody here was not standing their ground or really struggling to keep this from going or working, re working really hard. And I feel like it could be... It felt like it was only you working for this. Um, 
somebody here felt like maybe they had to put boundaries uh, or there was felt like maybe you were um struggling putting healthy boundaries between you and this person what's this reoccurring yeah reoccurring reconnecting reoccurring going through the same cycle again um ooh. yeah so there could have been a lot of you know same patterns yeah like somebody would wanted to be out there exploring then they would come back reconnect with you and it was just an ongoing cycle i just feel like i'm repeating myself give me more of this trust why is trust here in this situation yeah somebody really thought that this was going to go um long term that both of you would be able to have an equal give and take was trusting in the future that this could happen this could change this was very positive about it until it seemed like it just became too much um there was others involved it could be just outside influences there was a lot of wounds a lot of hurt there wasn't trust issues somebody giving their attention elsewhere but you were still very optimistic about this but it feels like this is a new beginning for you and you are you know just standing firm this time on your own terms you're probably also the challenge could be you know staying balanced here death card again well we have transformation here which is pretty much the death card okay so don't resist it maybe you still have those feelings of going back going through the same lesson because somebody here is resisting change it could be them if you're already here i feel like you are though a lot of you this person is viewing you as somebody very abundant very um yeah like a wish fulfillment you're taking your power back you're changing you they probably you're probably also very focused on your image your character is changing too for some of you you've gone through an awakening yeah th that's what i feel here this is how they're seeing you right now okay so that's what i have let's see what spirit says what is this person what is uh spirit saying about this pile? oh give me a message for this pile from spirit spirit oh okay the universe will now bring the man or woman of your dreams into your life you'll receive the appreciation and recognition that you deserve dream partners who are already taken will now separate from the other person the hand of God breaks all chains and makes the way clear for a new beginning. So you are. You are going towards a new beginning here. Mm -hmm. You're taking leadership. You're owning your power. You're going through this change. You're not resisting. But I feel like someone here could be resisting to it. And I feel like it could be them. Okay, Because I feel like now you're going to come into someone new. Mm -hmm. so we have fire earth fire cancer pisces air gemini water fire earth scorpio that's what i'm getting for this pile i hope this felt like it resonated i have water and earth here too thanks so much for watching and i'll be back later take care of you mm, bye